On the very last game of your professional footballing career, there are a few things you dream of doing. Scoring, making a game-saving goal line clearance, keeping a clean sheet, saving a penalty, winning a trophy, all kinds of things, but surely getting sent off is not one of those things. But that has happened to quite a number of players, and in this video, we want to check out five footballers who got red carded in the last game of their entire career. Number one, Gerard Piquet. Of course, we start with the Barcelona legend. He is the inspiration behind this video as a matter of fact. Early in the month of November, PK suddenly announced that he would be retiring from professional football before the World Cup break. The news came as a shock to everybody, but it meant that the highly successful centre-back had just two more games to play before hanging up his boots. He started the home game against Almeria, played a good game, kept a clean sheet, and was able to say an emotional goodbye to the fans at the Camp Nou. But after that, he still had one more away game to play, and in that game against Osasuna, Xavi decided to leave his former teammate on the bench and bring him on in the second half to finish the game. Sounds like a plan. But Piquet didn't even make it to the second half. He was sent off at half-time after confronting the ref, following him down the tunnel and reportedly abusing him. Piquet, who was Barcelona's vice-captain until retirement, was furious that the ref had let a controversial goal stand for Osasuna and then sent Lewandowski off in the first half, so he made sure he let the ref know how he felt. Reports say that the World Cup winner called the ref a disgrace and said he is the ref who has screwed Barcelona the most, so the match official didn't hesitate to give the defender his marching orders, not caring that it was the last game of the legend's professional career. Barcelona eventually turned the game around though, so it wasn't an entirely gloomy last day at the office for Piquet. But did you know that Piquet is not the only former Barcelona man to receive a red card in the last game of his career? Number 2. Marc van Bommel Van Bommel played for Barcelona back in the mid-2000s and was even a part of that Champions League winning squad of 2006. He had a great career, also enjoying success at Milan and Bayern before returning to PSV for his final days. Now, we don't know if Van Bommel went into the Eredivisie game against Twente on the 12th of May 2013 with the intention for it to be his last game, but that's how things turned out. PSV lost the game 3-1 and he got his marching orders after two yellow cards. That ended a rather disappointing season for him and PSV as they finished second in the league and lost in the KNVB Cup final. After that game, Van Bommel announced his retirement and said he wanted to go into coaching. The following year, he kick-started his managerial career. Number 3. Edgar Davids Edgar Davids, famous for the frames, is yet another guy who played for Barcelona and saw red on the last game of his career, a career which saw him play for some of the biggest clubs all around Europe, from Ajax to Milan, to Juventus, to Barcelona, to Inter, to Spurs, and then back to Ajax. During this tour of the elites, he won numerous trophies, including the Champions League, but the last few years of his career were not quite so glorious. After his second stint at Ajax, he moved to Crystal Palace, who were playing in the Championship at the time and agreed to pay on a pay-as-you-play deal. He spent just three months there and then moved to non-league club Barnet as player-manager. He spent two years there and just like Van Bommel, it's unclear if he really wanted to retire when he did because his announcement came after the sending off. In just his first year, he saw three red cards and the third one was a straw that broke the camel's back. After that game, he said, I don't know how many games we have played now, but there is a weird decision making all the time. It is ridiculous. I don't think I'm going to play anymore. And that was it. He retired from professional football and focused on management. Number 4. Jürgen Kohler It's okay if the name and the face don't ring a bell at all. Jürgen Kohler retired in 2002, but he enjoyed a great deal of success in his footballing career, which saw him lift the Champions League, Euros and the World Cup, among other trophies. He played for Bayern, Juventus and Dortmund, but it was at Dortmund that he enjoyed the most success, and that's where he retired too. But his last game is surely not one he has fond memories of. His sending off is the one that cost his team the most on our list today. OK, maybe except for the guy at number 5. It was the first half of the UEFA Cup final against Feyenoord and Kola lost the ball to the opposing defender just outside the box, but he quickly made things worse by going over to pull the striker down inside the box. The ref didn't hesitate to award a penalty to Feyenoord and show Kola a red card. The penalty was converted and just seven minutes later the lead was doubled. Dortmund tried to fight their way back into the game but being a man down, it was always an uphill struggle. The game ended 3-2 and Feyenoord lifted the trophy. Kohler must have been kicking himself for costing his team the UEFA Cup on the last game of his professional career. But if Kohler kicks himself, then what would Zinedine Zidane do? Number 5. Zinedine Zidane Widely regarded as one of the greatest players ever, Zidane's career was an enviable one. 
He won the Champions League, the Euros, the World Cup, won the Ballon d'Or, was named FIFA World Player of the Year three times, a really illustrious career, but one which didn't have the best of finishes or encores, as you might like to call it. He had already called it quits for France after Euro 2004 and was planning on hanging up his boots after the 2005-06 season. But with France struggling to even qualify for the World Cup, Raymond Dominic asked Zidane to come out of retirement for one last dance. He did, and that last dance was very nearly perfect. He was able to take France from the bottom of their qualifying group to the top. They got to the World Cup, and he led the team all the way to the final. So, in his last ever game as a professional footballer, Zidane could lift the World Cup trophy as captain. What a way to bow out. And the dream started really well. He scored just seven minutes into the final to put France ahead. Italy equalized not long after, and things stayed like that until extra time. But with just 10 minutes to go to penalties, Zidane lost his head and threw his head into the torso of his fellow goalscorer on the night, Marco Materazzi. The referee, who didn't see the incident happen in real time, went over to consult his assistant and immediately turned around to show Zidane the red card. That was it. Zidane was not only sent off in the World Cup final, he was sent off in the last game of his pro career, which also happened to be the biggest fixture in world football. And you have to say, he sort of cost his team the game and the trophy because had he been on the pitch, you expect that he would have converted his spot kick and maybe, just maybe, that would have been enough to win France the World Cup that night. But well, it was just not to be. Anyway, who do you think will be the next footballer to receive a sending off on his last game as a pro? Give us your predictions in the comments and please try not to say Sergio Ramos. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.